Elections 2019 on Manawatu People's Radio. Te reo irirangi o nga tangata o Manawatu. Te ana o tui o anu. Kia ora. Uh, tēnā kau te katoa, mihi ana ki te mana whenua, uh, rangitāna ki te whenua. Uh, Kia ora everyone, my name is Tiano Tuiono. A little bit about myself. I'm married with four children. Three of my children go to the local, one of the local Kura Kaupapa over here. My oldest child is at Victoria University. Um, she went to Freiburg High School, so shout out to Freiburg. Um, my background is in international law and um, indigenous, particularly at the intersection of indigenous peoples and the environment. Um, my wife is actually up at Massey doing a postdoc, so we live uh, we live, uh, live and breathe Palmerston North. Um, we came, I came here about um, 14 years ago for a three month stay, and um, we've been kind of rotating in the Palmerston North vortex ever since then. So I love the place, love the community, love the schools, love the diversity. Um, there's a couple of things that I uh, want to put on the agenda tonight. Um, three of them, maybe two of them, if Fraser dings me out early. Uh, and one of those things is I think it's really important that we start to look at everything with a climate lens over it. And what that means is we need to, uh, there, are two aspects to there are two aspects to the climate change uh, uh, aspects. The first one is we've got to look at climate mitigation, which is all about bringing down all our emissions. So all those good things that people have been talking about, about incentivising solar panels, doing smarter things with active and public transport, uh, those are things that I would prioritise. But also what we've also got to look at is the climate adaptation. And what climate adaptation is about is about preparing our city for climate uncertainty. There was a, a report that came out was from the Productivity Commission. And in that report, it talked about how in order for us to be climate resilient and climate proof all our cities, it's going to cost around about $14 billion. Um, so one of the things that I would do as mayor is to make sure we find out exactly what our slice of that $14 billion is. And that, what, what that would require is to put in a climate action plan. There, uh, there is an initial aspect to putting in a climate, uh, a climate um, action plan, and that is, of course, having a climate action and mitigation assessment going across the whole city just so we can take a, a, a more focused look at what the city infrastructure is like, from the pipes to the roads, the way that we run our river banks. And for me, that will throw up exactly what is missing and what other gaps are in this city. So, of course, in order to make, make, actually make these things happen, you need a couple of things. I think you need uh, a plan, you need targets, and you need measurement. So tonight I want to commit to uh, pushing, a, pushing for a plan to make Palmerston North carbon neutral by 2040, with an interim plan of making Palmerston North City Council carbon neutral by 2030. Of course, the climate crisis isn't just, uh, isn't just the only crisis out there. We've got the crisis of biodiversity, but there's also a crisis of inequality over the whole lot. And so I'm very interested in looking about what we could do in that space, particularly in the housing, in the housing space. I think for me, um, and for a lot of the communities that I come from, Housing is just something that we get pushed to, pushed into by the aggressiveness of the market. I think we need to start looking at housing as a human right. And so one of the things that I would put on the agenda is to establish a housing and homelessness strategy in Palmerston North City Council. Attached to that, I would have an advisory group uh, to actually inform that strategy. And within that, within that group, and also in the formation of the strategy itself, I would ensure that there were people from uh, advocates of homeless people and advocates of tenants and renters front and centre of that strategy. The third thing I wanted to bring up was about transparency and inclusiveness. Um, for me, is if we're going to do anything, whether it's you know putting a climate change um, action plan in place or dealing with Toyota or thinking about whether we should be co-opting sporting spaces for the Weapons Expo, what we need to be doing in every single one of those instances is taking the community with us. Thank you.